second one. It's been a month for an NHL GM mode, but we are back. And in this one, we will try to uh, bring it up to the, the trade deadline. And we'll see how this team is performing, because... <clears throat> excuse me. We can be so much... So much better. I mean, we have the offense and depth already for this team. Along with the scratches, you know, they're pretty good. Goalies, young, good, developing. Defense. Defense is, is strong. But... We only have one top guy, and he doesn't fit on the top line, which kind of sucks. So we'll see what happens when we get to the trade deadline, because... But it's, we'll we'll see. That that's all that's all I'm gonna say. But you know, let's uh, you know, let's just get right into it. You know, no wasting time. Uh, in real life, the Avalanche are going up against the Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is looking for three peat. Yeah. You know, as an Islanders fan, we all know how, for the last two years, the teams I went up against Tampa Bay feel about the team. Uh, and honestly, I would like to—I would like to see Colorado win, just because you know McDavid is just uh, not McDavid. Well, Oof, Nathan McKinnon. That's, I mean, he—he he should hopefully get a cup in his career, but I honestly think this is this is Colorado's year. Just the way they play is just crazy. So we're doing alright, doing alright. Just just replace him. He'll be back in a couple games. We'll probably lose these two. Put him right back. Bim. Still lose that game anyway. Honestly, we should be. We should have. We should be like the. We should be like the Flyers' record right now. But this team is uh just acting like a 500 team. Kind of sucks. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to back losses. Five goal. Give up ten goals in two games. Do this. We'll just take a quick look at plus minus in the lines. The cops injured for a little bit. Eight to three loss. That is kind of crazy. I mean, yes, you haven't. You've missed ten games, but I mean, come on, you should. You should be up there in points. Those two are doing. Right, plus minus is pretty pretty bad. I'm not liking this. What is going on, goalies? You're it's going up ball. What's, going on? What's happening to you? Where the Could also be the goalie. I hate having goalie problems. <sighs> it's 
second line is just getting torched and the bottom. You guys are just getting torched. When when he comes back, we'll, we'll mess with that a little bit. But I like how the only two uh, defensemen in the set are in the plus or people that I'm thinking on moving out from. Most because they're aging. And they have extremely big contracts and if and when they get older it's just gonna get even extremely harder to move on from them. You're gonna have to take a hit Mix it up just a little bit. That's all you need is a little bit. How's our AHL team doing? Amazing. Not the best, but they're doing pretty damn good. Good for them. Another win. Another one? Oh, hey, look at that. Patrick Lane, pretty much a point a game, which, which is great. At the end of this month, I would like to see where a little bit of the points are at. A loss, not good. Let's get back on track. No. All right. You praise him, and then it just turns to, turns to crap. I like how Line is a point per game. That's what he should be. He should actually be above a point a game with him and Barzell. Barzell should be around 50 points and you should be at 60, 62. That's how, that's how I feel. Comp, plus minus is good. Still doing good. Verona. It's that, it's that second line. Just kind of which is a bit weird. <clears throat> this plus minus got a little better. Jeez. Could be worse. I love how I got rid of Sorokin because he never simulates well for me, but seems like he's doing pretty damn good on the Sharks. Casey to Smith. When he sold. Gustafs is doing good. Bobrovsky. Rob Florida of all that money. It's high rate robbery. Yeah. Gibson. It always simulates well, except for the record. The record's always crazy, but he just simulates so well. All right, comps injured for a few games. And Adam Pellick's injured. But the sore knee, that is, that is not good. That is not what I, I wanted. That's okay.
Oh, it's not good. Let's take a look around the league here. Caps. Hang on, maybe. Senators are in the hunt. Just looking at possible teams. All right. All right, Jordan Everly's injured. Nice. All right. Well, we are a buyer. We're trying to win now, because I uh, honestly, if I don't, if we don't win in the next year or two, I, I don't know what we'll do with this team. Well, Elders. It's weird. First time I've ever seen him on here. It's pretty much 58 points. Fits on the second line. But, like I said, we have enough. We have enough offense as it is. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I think it's Shane Theodore, but I don't think he fits any of thing of ours. To, I mean, yeah, top four actually. It is another X factor. One year rental. Think about that, Shane Theodore. Heimberg. Think about Theodore. Bush of it, Bush, Bush. Of, I can't say his name. Bush never. I, I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not working very well. Um. Remember, I did a uh, Ducks franchise mode with him, and I had the best first line ever. We won like four cups in a row. That was fun. That was fun to do by myself. It seems like I just couldn't lose. Before Shane goes. I know the Canucks are trying to win now. Of course he's injured. Drysdale. First defensive line pairing. All right, they're... Come back to that, Dry Drysdale. I mean, this would be the only one that I'm thinking of. Top four. Rasmus Dahlin. I mean, six years, long-term commitment. So there's two of them that I'm thinking of so far. Drysdale and Rasmus. Makar would be amazing. 
Absolute stud. Detroit, anybody? Star, no, no. Edmonton, their top guys are injured. Ekblad, I mean, they're in the playoffs. So now, <laughs> Drew Doughty with that contract, never mind. Uh, no. are interested to get rid of Yoshi, which I know, but it's only second pair lining. I'm looking for somebody for that top line. Chabot. Yeah, all penalty kill lines. Yager. Yes. As I his son. I would think his son would be a defenseman. Krug. No. You know what, hell. Drysdale, where is he? It would be interested in uh, Pulak. Give him the youngin. Now Lennox is, is my backup. I can't do that. Kidding. That'd be over the cap. How would they be over the cap? Come on. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. D for D. Second and third.
first rounder. Second rounder from this year. All right, well, there's that. Yeah, Theodore is going to be a little too much. Uh, we kind of want to keep this guy because he seems like he could be good in the future. Well, I don't think there's anything else that I could do. Do I want to do that trade? Kind of, kind of, not really. But I... Oh, it's because they did best lines. Okay. Oh, because what's his name is is hurt Pelic. So Pelock, thank you for your time. Well, something, something like that could work out. Teams. Or something like that. What the hell? Well, uh, uh, put Dobson here. Oh, no, Dobson's already there. What am I thinking? Yeah, Darlene, whatever. Get get your time in. Well, we'll see how that does. Uh, Felix back the day after the trade deadline. Boy, what lovely timing you have. Pretty much the same as before, not where I really was expecting, but it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, he's going to pass. I just know that. Alright. 
Bada bing. Mouse wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Concussion. Now it's time to make the push, guys. Come on. Buffalo. Eh, lost in overtime. Loss. Loss wood. Right. I just love how the second line is just absolutely getting... Doesn't make sense. It's just getting absolutely picked apart the second line. I just don't understand. Three one. Boom. Lost five nothing, five two, but yeah, this off season, uh, I mean, it's finished up this season, but it's like I don't, I don't know what else to do. But we've scored fifteen goals in the last three games, so that's that's a good start. Get shut out, seven four. It's either we lose a close game or we win a shootout. It's, it's Seems like how it's going, and I kind of don't like that. Well, we have a chance to catch the Blue Jackets. No, no, we don't. <coughs> I think we would have to win. And now they have a game in hand. I know we have a game in hand. Damn, Sabres aren't going to make it unless the Rangers lose out. Oh, hey. Blue Jackets are still winning. Rangers are still winning. These are the last three games. Caps. We beat them. Hey, we leapfrog the Blue Jackets. Nice. Sabres have to win both games, basically. So, we'll see how that goes. 88 points. 9. Oh, the Rangers lost, and the Sabres won, so it comes down to the final game. I don't know what happens if the Rangers uh, lose in overtime, get a point. The Sabres lose. Rangers have more wins. Oh, shoot, I lost. Rangers 91. Ooh, the Rangers beat them out. Damn. So the Rangers won. And they lose. No, they lost in overtime. Oof. That stings. That stings for Buffalo. Barcel could have had a better year. I mean, he did. He did play ten less games. You have a great second year. Or sec on the second line, could have done better. Plus minus is a little scary. Defense. Dalene came in. Player, what do you do when he got here? 18 points. Pretty reductive. That's good. Alright. Now, what did he do when he went to Buffalo? I can't he's the only right defenseman. Set 14. Not bad. Seven goals. They definitely relied on him. They definitely relied on him scoring. 
more sys. Right. Okay. Uh, but where's jersey numbers? I forgot. Forgot the other alternative for so Wallstrom line A. We gotta give it to Pellick. I'll be uh, selecting the captain. If we make it, or next year. Let's just continue looking at stats here. About right on the button. I want it to be a half an hour, and it was half an hour. Goalies, you're concerned with me there a little bit, Wall. You gotta work on that save percentage. Defenseman, could have been a little better. That second line, this plus minus, could be a lot better, but Emily, 45 points on the third line, that's pretty good. Same thing with you, 25 on the fourth, 20 points, that's pretty good. It's great on the fourth line. But that plus minus, 50 points on the, on that second line, it could really have done a little bit better. Minus 12, I mean, you're two-way, or you're a playmaker. Still that defensive awareness, come on. Cop did all right on that third line. You you did all right on that third line. Plus minus could have been a little better, but I think you're on penalty kill. Yeah, let's just finish it out by looking at who's the best. Get a 97, not bad. That's ridiculous. Pasta. Lafonier, Bretchkin, another 50 point. Did he break it? The sim, uh, by far. If I get to a thousand before he retires. Kane, damn, you're still playing. Good for you. Line A, almost 50 goal season. It's really good. Seagrass is, is a great player. It's him, the guy from. Uh, from the Rangers and somebody else. I forget who that third line, uh, the first line was for me in that uh, Ducks career, uh, GM mode, franchise mode, whatever you want to call it. Bruce Nevich. It was him and Bruce Nevich and somebody else. But yeah, all right. Well, yeah. Let's, go. Let's go forwards. Who led it in assists? Lafreniere. Barzell probably would have been up there if he didn't get injured. Goals. Ovi. Bad. Who got the most shorthanded goals? Not bad. Sim Riley, not bad, 59%. Dishing out the hits. Oof. Big center, man. A little power forward, too. Oof. He's going to be running your ass over. All right, let's take a look at d -bid. Most goals. Anderson, nice. Ah. Could get him. Pulak, yeah. Sis, Morgan Riley. It's always him. How many years he got left? Six. 37. Can make it happen. And goalies. Carter Hart. Yeah. All mark. Goals against is scary. Or save percentage. Why well, I mean Wally is up there? But still. I would like to see more up around uh, 9-12. Nice broken. Who got the best save percentage? I'm saying it's going to be Carter Hart out of starters. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Now let's figure out who we are going to play in the first round. It would be either the Devils or the Maple Leafs. Oh, yeah. 
A good old matchup, us against the Devils. Let's take a look at their team. Oof. He's injured. Oh, we could take him. They, they got depth, depth though. They have pretty much an 85 on the fourth line as that defense. They got Dougie, Searson, goalie, it's a goalie, Blackwood. Yeah, I mean, in real life, I don't just score a lot on Blackwood, so I, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. But uh, that's the end of this uh, franchise move with the Islanders. I hope to catch you soon, and I will try to upload this again at the end of the week, the playoff series, or the start of next week. But I will try to upload this more for the people that enjoy hockey. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next evening.